Our package of bees have been in the bottle hive for three weeks now. Let's take a look at what's going on and we'll start by inspecting this beautiful top bar comb that they've built on slot number five. I want you to look very carefully as we scan down this beautiful comb to see what kind of activity is going on here. Because this comb has been built on a top bar, the bees have been free to build the cell sizes that they desire. This is less constrictive than what they have on foundation, where the foundation tries to control the size of the cells. And right here you can see where they've attached that top bar comb to that ridge in the bottle. Looking back to see if you identified it, here we have a couple of capped drone cells. Additionally, next to these drone cells we can see larvae that has not been capped yet. I am not surprised to see drone cells on the top bar comb since they can create the cells any size they want. This is where they decided to put the drones. Also notice the color change between the white unused comb and where they're starting to put some contents into the comb. What's that little guy doing? We're looking past the comb on the number five top bar into the space between to the comb that's been built on the foundation on the number four frame. I see some capped cells in here. The bees have not moved in to the bottom bottle yet, they're still busy with the top bottle, and that's just fine. However, I was a little curious because as I was filming this, I didn't see any bees using the hive entrance. Lots of bees on the outside with pollen sacks full, and so I had to take a closer look at what was going on. Oh, these clever girls, they created their own entrance that they like better. If you look, there is a slight gap between the lid of the duplex bottle and the inner bottle. I knew this gap was there, and I assumed that the bees would propolize it closed. I didn't bother to make any seal there. However, instead, the bees have decided they like this entrance better than the stand entrance that I built for them, and although it's a little difficult, they make their way in there. This entrance would appear to be very easy to guard and difficult for larger things to get in, like hornets. However, I don't know if the uh, entrance is wide enough to support the number of bees. Nevertheless, they seem to be quite happy with it, and as the saying goes, the bees are going to do what the bees want to do. On the other side of the bottle, the bees have continued to expand the cross comb. Compare it to how it was just a week ago. The video quality suffers some here, but what I want you to see is that looking beyond the comb to the foundation on the number one frame, look at the substances, that nice wet sticky substance being built into those cells.
Did you know that it is not necessary to actually see the queen to know if your hive is queen right? If you can see capped brood, developing larvae, and eggs in the center of the cells of your comb, along with other signs of health such as capping stores and the nectar and the pollen, then you can assume that the queen is in the hive and actively laying eggs. It is not enough to just see capped drone cells and larvae in the hive because you could be queenless and have drone laying workers. How many of these things did you see in this video? Do you think this hive is queen right?